already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Queen of Cups and it's with the Six of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups, it can indicate a woman who would be very helpful to you. She reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work. And that's even possible, even if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are probably better in your world. Maybe your work, working world when you get this card in a reading. Better than you're realizing. So, Queen of Cups is with Six of Cups, which can be a card about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time but if we start to think if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy so Queen of Cups clarified by the Six of Cups for your recent past energy between you and your person. What I'm getting is that some of you Libras it looks like maybe you you have some really great memories with someone. Yeah, a lot of happy memories. Um, this could have been a, a long lost love, could have been a family member, a friend. And it looks like you you were thinking about this person a lot. They stayed on your mind. And, yeah, it looks like maybe the two of you had a fallout or you, you two didn't end up staying together. Um, you might have been thinking about reaching out to this person to heal the situation, to heal the connection because... The Queen of Cups can be very nurturing, a very healing type of energy, Queen of Cups. Very supportive. And Queen of Cups, when you see the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in a reading, those are two of the most loving energies that are in the deck. Um... They usually want to offer love, love, compassion, kindness, heal and nurture. So that's what I'm getting. You wanted to heal something. You wanted to heal the connection with your person. You wanted to fix it because there was, you have a lot of happy memories with this person. And... You, you could have been thinking about them a lot. Like I said, they stay on your mind. So, yeah, you want to fix it. You want to heal it. You want to make it right. Somebody really special to you. That's what I'm getting. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. we got the tower, and it's with the... Seven of Cups. Now, the tower can be about trying to hold on too tightly to the, to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people's situations that you've counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be drastic because change is actually the nature of life, so... If we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. 
keep in mind it's only going to be a problem if you let it be. Because you can actually replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies do fall apart. Dreaming is important, but we all know it's important to be living in reality also. Now, the Seven of Cups, which is a card about choices, it can indicate confusion, disorganization, having too much going on, needing to narrow your focus, so you're probably trying to do too much of it, and most of it not really well. So, maybe choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one. You could feel overwhelmed, but remember you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So, for what's coming up, the Tower clarified by Seven of Cups. Wow, so like I said, you want to heal, you want to fix a connection, a situation, somebody that you got a lot of great memories with. They could be on your mind, but coming up, it looks like... It looks like you could be afraid or your mind starts to tell you that it's, it could be a disaster reaching out to this person and that, um, yeah, you, you might start to just make busy. Or just start to do a lot of things just to get your mind off of this person. And you're going to start to convince yourself that this, this will be just a huge disaster. And it's just going to blow up in your face if you reach out to this person. Yeah, so, or you could be thinking they're too busy. Yep, they're too busy. You're not, you're not going to try it because... It's just going to be a big, big, big flop. So, yeah, your mind could be playing tricks on you. Or maybe you're just letting fear get in the way. Yep, yeah, something's telling you it's just going to be a big old tower moment. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Knight of Swords, and it is with the Magician. Now, the Knight of Swords, it's an upbeat, cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can point to physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out, out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords goes after their heart's desire. Now, it's with the Magician. The Magician is a card that can signify new beginnings, great expectations. This is a card... That reminds us that where we put our focus, well, it actually reminds us that we got the power to make a difference in our lives and so many other areas of the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you actually have the potential to have that plate. And a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself, because the magician is actually all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get it. So your challenge, Libra, Knight of Swords, and the magician. Hmm. Uh, this is something. Well, like I said, you 
you might be getting cold feet coming up. You just start, you might just start to do a million things just to get it off your mind. Because there's somebody that you really want to reconnect with and heal whatever was, whatever was broken. It looks like, wow, it looks like you might actually do it. You might actually reach out to this person. But it's a challenge because you really don't want to do it. You do, but you don't because your mind is telling you it's going to be a big old flop. So you reach out to this person. And, and it's actually good. Actually really good because when you reach out to this person, they, they're really excited. They're planning to take action, fast action, to talk to you, to be with you. They're glad that, that you reached out. Now, with the, because it's clarified by the magician, when the magician talks about love and relationships, it indicates that right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Whether they find you or not, it's going to depend on you. So, don't sit at home expecting Mr. or Mrs. Wright to walk up your garden path and knock on your door because we all know that probably won't happen. That's just a side note about the magician when it talks about love and relationships. Yeah, you need to be out there making things happen. So like I said, it looks like you, you, you come around, you get out of your head, you reach out, and it's good. The person is glad that you called. Yeah, they pro it, because the magician is here, this person was probably thinking about you just as much as you were thinking about them. So it turns out to be a really good thing. Somebody's really happy to hear from you. They've been manifesting you and you've been manifesting them. They probably was too scared to reach out and you were definitely at a panic thinking things were going to be a big flop, a huge tower moment. So yeah. You reach out and it's good. You got this person is planning to take action towards you. Happy to hear from you. Somebody that you have a lot of great memories with. Yeah, so wonderful. Let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Six of Wands, which signals victory. So if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know you'll be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, a commencement celebration, or you may be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands make you feel really, really good about yourself. You could feel as if you got a lot of support from a whole lot of people. On the other hand, you could actually adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. So, Six of Wands is with the Six of Swords, which can indicate movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Now, usually this changes for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. There's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So, Take this time, get your head above the water, and decide where you're going from here. So the outcome, Libra. Six of Wands clarified by Six of Swords. So yeah, this is victorious. Victorious. Yeah, it can, this situation it could go into a few different 
turns with the six of swords the six of swords is it's an interesting energy here especially when it talks about love and relationships it's the kind of energy that you get when you need to want to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with this type of energy, you get a lot of sexual, with this type of yeah, energy or chemistry, you get a lot of sexual ener energy and there's passion and long nights spent in bed. Yeah, this is like a, this is like that strong soulmate type of energy. Twin, I want, I don't want to say twin flame. I, I said I was going to stop using that word in my readings. Because a lot of people don't know what that is. But, anyway, the two of you mirror each other. Um, it's just a great type of... You ever meet someone and you feel like you've known them all your life? I mean, you two of you, you just can't stop talking. And when you leave each other, and if you guys have been apart for a while, when you come back together, it seems like they never left. Because you took it right back up where you left off at. It's like strong chemistry. Great connection. Yeah. So that's how the outcome is. Yeah, this is a success. This whole, this whole healing process, this whole come back together is not a big tower moment. Your person was thinking about you, you were thinking about them at the same time. You two were mirroring each other. So it's beautiful. I don't know if this turns into a love relationship. I would have to pull more cards, but this, I just basically do about an eight card reading. But this person could show up in the next reading, which would be in about another four or five days. So yeah, you two have been mirroring each other. This could be a strong soulmate or a twin flame. Um, and it looks like the two of you, yeah, you're no longer in stormy waters. These two people in a boat, it looks like they probably just got out of stormy waters. But the Six of Swords, it's about moving into calmer waters. Smooth sailing from here. So it's good. So whatever you are thinking about, what you, this is what you were thinking about in the recent past. And it, it worked. It's, it's showing that it's going to work out. If you haven't attempted, attempted it yet, it's saying, don't let your thoughts get the best of you. It's saying it's going to be beautiful. You move into karma waters. You two have been mirroring each other. It could actually turn into something. Something beautiful. And if not, at least you've, you've reconciled. Yeah, it, it, it brings about a lot of... A lot of relief. So Libra, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, just hang in there. It's, it's going to pass and we're all going to get through this, so... Stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next reading. 
just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Uh, also keep in mind, if this is not a love interest or a romantic or, or something romantic or a person that you're romantically involved with, like I said, it could be a friend or a family member, this other person. Or it could be a situation. You kind of have to take the readings for however it resonates. Because they are general readings, they are not personal readings. So, Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. That has really helped to make my channel grow. So, thank you so much. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. And take care.